You know who isn't afraid of making an absolute ass of herself? I mean, you know, Megan McCain, it's like it's almost at a point of I'm not sure I want to reward this, but I mean, <laughs> even someone as stupid as her has to understand what she's doing. And I'm starting, like, you know, I've I made unapologetically, I made a lot of jokes about Donald Trump and Ivanka Trump because Donald Trump said a lot of very weird things about Ivanka Trump. Meghan McCain's obsession with her father, to me, is starting to run a little bit past. It's super bizarre. Yes, I will make that joke, Harvey. You don't have to join in. <laughs> Check this out. We have children at the border being kidnapped in the most obscene, inhumane conditions imaginable. We have lawyers from the Department of Justice arguing in court and public record that they shouldn't get... They shouldn't be required to give these children soap and toothpaste. Yeah. Several of them have died. They've been held in vans. They're in heat containers. And this is on top of a whole war on migrants and refugees, some of which do go back, in fact, to the Obama era. Now, yes. Chuck Todd and all sorts of other you know, pedants and, and you know, morally cowardly people who just want to do basic narcissistic mind-numbing cable horse race coverage and have no moral urgency for anything have fixated on playing semantic games about whether or not we call concentration camps concentration camps right but i have to say reducing the suffering of children from a terrorist campaign orchestrated by the current administration uh to a narcissistic reference to your father who we all are abundantly aware that we would, I mean, Megan McCain would be, you know, look, I don't, I don't want to do the fill in alternative profession because I don't want to insult anybody. The point is, is that Megan McCain has, I mean, she's a great example of how we do not live in a meritocracy. This is a pure inherited el wealth oligarchy. And we know that she only exists literally and figuratively because of her father. Check this out who have died in immigration custody since last year. For almost a decade before, no child has died in immigration custody before yeah. the Trump administration. Ask yourself, we have seven, well, can, ask I, yourself, can I ask a question? Say? If those kids were from Norway, would this be happening? No. Okay. Well, it's, it is horrific and it's a complete and total humanitarian crisis and we don't have the infrastructure to deal with it. Kevin McCarthy, who's the minority leader said, Every member of Congress should be required to go to the southern bar border, excuse me, and see the crisis for themselves, yeah. and they should also be required to see what's happening in these detention centers. I just want to say one quick thing. Yeah. It's not a I saw, and apparently, by the way, me saying can I say one quick thing is now becoming a parody. That's just how I talk. It's one of my tics. I'm sorry. It's not the only thing. Yeah, it's definitely not the only thing. It's also more of just you just being a general obscenity. Um, calling these places torture facilities... I understand it is a humanitarian crisis. It's horrific to detain, and you, like you said, people in jail get soap, and people in jail get toothpa toothpaste. Pause it. Excuse me, toothpaste. Now we're going to minimize it, and of course, she's already minimized it. it. This is not a crisis. It's a completely manufactured crisis because they've chosen as a strategy to engage in mass cruelty and barbarism to disincentivize people who are already fleeing conditions so horrible that they, even knowing what they will face from these ghouls are still making the track. She's already done that. She's already done her basic propaganda. So where is she going to go? Is she going to do the Chuck Todd route or something far more narcissistic? Humanitarian okay. crisis. It's horrific to detain. And you, like you said, people in jail get soap and people in jail get toothpa oh. toothpastes. Excuse me, toothpaste. Oh, I know where but... I know what a torture facility looks like. Yeah. I've been to one. But I know, to listen to one. me, excuse me. When you have a facility <laughs> whose specific purpose is to torture people, <laughs> that <laughs> is not what's going on. Yes, it's inhumane, but there is a big difference between the Hanoi Hilton and what's happening well, at the border right now. We should be less right concerned now. about what we're calling. <laughs> <laughs> and right. actually, I would You're say right. that putting right. children in a van for 36 hours is actually... Pretty fucking intentional, but of course it's like, ah, uh, my father is the big takeaway. Um, I think the view is a torture facility. <laughs> the uh, most I've ever seen of it. I think Megan McCain is. What a was it? Facility. Operation Phoenix or something in yes. Vietnam, where yes. we had a massive torture infrastructure. But first of all, AFC. Didn't uh, my father was white. 
Yeah. So a- I don't want to hear about that. AOC didn't call them Hanoi Hiltons. What is she? What is she take? What is she really taking exception to here? I'm guessing. I mean, well, I mean, obviously, we all know that she went to an Ivy League university on her own merit. So. <laughs> M- Megan McCain. Yeah, Megan McCain. When, yes. Where did she go? She went to uh, Columbia. Uh, and I'm sure that she, as long along with even being on the View, is a reflection of her intelligence and talent and ability to look up words in a dictionary. You've just watched a Michael Brooks show video, and you can watch all of our full main live shows every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern time, and subscribe to get all of the clips you want. We're covering the globe. We're focusing on international relations, the intellectual dark web. We're having fun. We're doing deep dives with a lot of amazing guests. Of course, become a patron for the whole thing at patreon.com slash TMBS or subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us keep growing and get that content out there. Subscribe below.